Let's check on our soup besties. So our bonus soup is ready. Besties, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. According to the time you are coming across this video, to our new subscribers, thanks for joining our family. Thank you so much. To our OGs, guys, I appreciate you guys a whole lot. All right, thanks a lot, besties. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love you show me here. Like, I am grateful. All right, I don't take it for granted. I'm really grateful. For all the support, whenever I post a video, you guys are always here to support me, to watch, to leave a sweet comment, to like. Ah, I am really grateful. May God bless you all. So, on today's prep, guys, we are going to be making Ogbono soup. Alright? Ogbono soup. So, these are some of the preps. We have a mackerel fish here, some slices of mackerel fish then which i'll be frying soon i'll be frying the mackerel fish soon we have some dried chicken neatly washed we have a uh, palm oil or red oil we have our salt to taste we have our ogbono in here we have some blended crayfish and some blended pepper in here we have some ginger powder some garlic powder and some seasoning powder all right you guys will be seeing the beef in a bit we've already cleaned it up it's on the gas i'll be showing you guys soon and i'll also be showing you guys our frozen spinach that's the vegetable we'll be using for the day so let's go over to that guys in here besties we have in this pot we have our cow leg some beef and some ishaki for our obono soup so the first thing we'll be adding now is some some of our onions sliced onions and We'll add some of our seasonings. Then we'll add some of our seasoning powders. This is it. Then our dried thyme. Then the next thing we'll be adding is our ginger powder. And then a bit of our garlic powder. Last thing is our salt to taste. This is it. So just take to combine, add some water, then oh boy. See you guys in a bit. So guys, I stirred it already and added some water. I stirred it together, like mixed it together with all our ingredients. Then I added a little bit of water. So now we cook. Our meat is cooked, guys. So what i'll be doing now is i want to pick out the like select the beef out of it then i'll fry it because i'll be frying the beef so see you guys in a bit so best is this is our meat stock i'm adding some palm oil into it like meat stock is the 
water from the meat we boiled earlier. That's what English called meat stock or calls meat stock. So now that we added, it's just the meat stock, guys, and this our palm oil. So now I will cover for it to boil. Then when it boiled, we'll come back and add our obono. So let's check on our, our boiling stock with red oil. So now the first thing we'll be adding is our obono. This is our obono. Mind you, there are about three ways you can make this obono. This is one of the easiest ways. You can just make it in another way by adding your that palm oil just now to your dry pot. When it's heated a bit, you just add your obono. Fry and add your warm water to melt or melt it to your taste all right and the other method is you putting your bono in a in a container or in a plate that can resist heat then you add it to your boiling stock meat stock then it's this you add oil to it then it dissolve on its own so that's the three method I know. If you know any other method and you are here, please let me know in the comments section. I beg you. That's the only three method I know. This one I'm doing now is the third method. Sorry. So this is what you just do. You just try to dissolve everything make sure everything is dissolved all those long that you guys were seeing earlier you just try and melt out everything why doing this guys please make sure your gas is on the lowest heat so that if you are using a sticky pot so that you put your bono will not get burnt so as you can see guys it is all dissolved so now we'll be adding some more water to it because as you can see this is too thick you just have to add a little bit of water so this is it i added some water next thing we'll be adding now is our blended crayfish and blended pepper You stir everything to combine, then you cover for everything to come up to a boil. So, see you guys when I come back. So, let's check on our obono soup. So, as you can see, it, it's well dissolved now. Like, everything is properly combined. Here you can see there is no lumps. All the lumps you guys were seeing earlier. Everything is gone. So the first thing we'll be adding is this uh, fried beef. The beef I told you guys I was removing earlier and the uh, fried mackerel fish. The next is of our dried chicken is our cooked or boiled boiled meat like our cow leg ishaki basically this at this point you just add all your all your protein so that it can have enough time to just cook together. So you just leave them now to 
marry each other like tell each other their life story and how they ended up in your pot then you come back later to add your seasonings and all that so see you soon let's check on our obono soup guys wow this is it so now we'll be adding some of our powder seasoning don't mind the spoon i used it to add to scoop out our blended pepper earlier because the next thing is a, a little bit of a powder garlic not too much guys so that your soup will not end up smelling garlic then our ginger powder a pinch of salt so now you stay there everything to combine so now that everything is combined you just leave it for some time adding our frozen spinach i told you guys we had frozen spinach earlier so that's what we'll be adding soon so see you guys welcome back so now we'll be adding our frozen spinach. If you have ugu leaf, by all means use that to like pumpkin leaf, that's what I'm saying. Vegetable, fresh vegetable. By all means use that. So this is it guys our bono is almost ready you just leave this for like two minutes and bono is set is ready so i'll bring you guys when it's done let's check on our soup besties so our bono soup is ready like ready 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 so if you have watched to this extent please do me where to subscribe in case you've not subscribed leave a comment like share all right have it with your swallow like your grounded rice your wheat your pounded yam your gari like ever so that's what you can serve this soup with. So I'll be ending it here, guys. So see you guys in another video. Bye for now.